Are you an architect or interior designer who is thinking about adopting the digital workflow on iPad? Well, if you are still hesitant, I'm going to give you five life changing reasons why you should and how this is going to make you a more productive designer by working smarter, faster and more efficiently. I'm going to break this down into five parts from sketching the iPad to working on Tether to design precision, using it from construction and collaborative work between clients, peers and consultants. Let's get into it. One of my pain points as a designer is the inability to update sketches. It's not impossible. It's just really annoying. Traditionally, we have to scan our sketches first, recompose it in Photoshop and post process for color mistakes. And then we're able to save it, rename it and bring it into a presentation. You're probably familiar with this process yourself. If you're a young designer, you've done it for yourself or for somebody else in the office. And this isn't a process I particularly enjoy and I can't imagine you do too. So how does working on iPad solve this problem? Well, on iPad, you can edit your drawings and mistakes instantly. You can undo, redo. If you're unhappy with something that you drew, you can redraw it as many times as you want, or you can just clear the entire page with one big swoop. And if you want to come back to a drawing you did for a project weeks or even months back to update something in the design, which is more common than you'd think on a new trace, you can do it exactly where you left things off without needing to redraw it on a new trace over the old drawing, scan it and going into Photoshop just to perform a minor update. This is probably my biggest complaint. And I remember when I was a young designer sketching out designs for a presentation, if a senior architect or my boss wanted me to change something about a sketch, even if it's small as moving a door or a piece of furniture, I'd have to jump through so many hoops to make this one revision. But whereas on the iPad, that little request may just take me a couple of seconds to reflect. Editing and updating your drawings would just barely scratch in the surface here. So if you are interested in seeing how I use my iPad for architecture and interior design and even even renderings. I have in-depth workshops that you can find in the description below that we're not going to touch on in this video. Number two, what is it like to work on Tether? Can you be disconnected from the internet and a traditional office environment? These are the questions I get asked very frequently. Honestly, it's fantastic. I want you to know the iPad is far more than a surface to draw on. It's really an all-in-one device that negates your need for a computer, a scanner, a printer, bag of tools that you normally need in a traditional office environment. As long as you have power, you're good. So what does this mean? Well, I think for most people, you can take it anywhere you go and work anywhere, be it in a coffee shop, during transit, out in the woods. There is an app version for almost any software you need on your main computer, whether it's the day-to-day -day emailing, video meetings, design, 3D modeling. I'm not going as far to suggest that you don't need your main computer anymore. You do in fact, but in a pinch, your iPad can be that mobile computer that you can bring with you on the go. If you are anything like me, you're probably wondering if it can replace your traditional mosque and notebook for note taking, brainstorming and doodling. I had the same questions and concerns myself. I think it can do a lot more than that. I have another video talking about how it has completely changed and replaced my needs for traditional paper and sketchbook. Everything I need as an architect from ideation, brainstorming and note taking. You can see it right here. Now, for construction site visits, gone are the days where you need to bring a roll of drawing sets, specifications, binders, and drawing utensils, and even camera equipment. Everything I need for a typical construction site visit can all be accommodated with just an iPad and the Apple Pencil. The way I'm able to do this is with Dropbox. So we use Dropbox in our office to store all project files and documents online. So if anything happened to our computer or server, everything can be retrieved on the cloud anytime, anywhere. Then I use an app called Morfolio Trace to read drawings, take notes, red lines, extract dimensions, all in one place. This makes me incredibly mobile to walk around the job sites with a client and the contractor. If you are interested in hearing more about this process, make sure you watch this video above where I talk more in depth about the technical setup and Morfolio Trace workflow. I'm sure there are other apps that I'm not using or are coming on the market to serve designers and contractors in the AEC industry. So if there's something that's working really well for you, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. When I say this is more than a sketchbook, I'm actually referring to drawing precision. And I think the word sketching has a loose connotation associated with it. It's something that's done quickly, imprecise, and has a high tolerance for mistakes. And I can confirm in my earlier career that this is true. Many times what I thought worked well on paper in a sketch format failed to translate in reality when I'm drafting it out. Maybe it was due to my inexperience, but I also like to attribute it to the nature of the tools that I was working with. You know, like the trace paper, the ruler, the drafting dots, you know, the pencil and the pen. 
And I think it's hard to maintain a high level of accuracy until you bring your sketch into a drafting platform where you can verify dimensions with site condition. But that's no longer the case since I started working on the iPad. For example, in Procreate, I have developed my own templates for a variety of architecture skills, floor plans, elevations, and even furniture templates. So when I use these templates, the sketching phase of the design has a much longer shelf life because I'm able to sketch more accurately in scale in a way I cannot with copious amount of trace paper over each other. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I work really fast because I can test ideas, iterate designs, and edit quickly all in the sketching format. In the office, we can usually get the client to sign off on major design components with just hand drawings. And we'll flush out details, elevations, and further design components when we transition to design from paper to the computer. The best part about this is, is the hand sketch drawing actually works for the real site conditions most of the time. And it's much less prone to mistakes when I'm conducting design on paper. So back in the days, I was known in the office for designing these theoretical stairs that didn't work, but now I barely have this problem. The final life-changing aspect is collaboration. So for architects and interior designers, we put a lot of value on communication, which is a big part of what we do to sell up ideas to clients. Part of it is verbal and another part visual. The pandemic has made the visual part of the communication more difficult as we're not able to meet our clients face-to-face -face like we were used to in the past. The things that we can do as designers like sketching right in front of our clients is no longer possible. So most of us are limited to Zoom meetings and with few controls for on-screen uh, screen drawing tools. What I've been able to do is to link my iPad to the computer and sharing my screen that way. So this way the attendees, whether it's a client, peer, or a consultant can see my screen and what I'm drawing as close as they would if they sat right next to me in the same room. This is still not exactly the same experience as you're still missing some non-verbal and visual feedback if you are in the same room together, but I think it's the closest thing in my opinion. Now, as we are transitioning back to a in-person environment, a lot of limiting beliefs that we designer thought weren't possible uh, to do without being in-person are totally blown out of the water. You know, we prove we can still have design meetings, carry on projects, and the virtual aspect of doing business actually aren't that bad as we thought. In fact, many employees prefer to have a hybrid environment where they can work part-time in the office and part-time from home. And I think companies that offers this kind of culture and flexibility will have an edge forward. So in conclusion, are you convinced you need an iPad yet? If you're not, check out my additional workshops where you get to see more of my design process. You can find that in the description below. And one last question before you go, which one of the five ideas did you resonate most with? Was it editing your sketch? Work on tether, sketching position, construction visits, or collaboration? Let me know in the comments below.